Hello there. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video on how to run a program as administrator and there's basically three quick ways to do it. You can uh, click start and uh, CMD and then when it comes up in the menu here you can control shift and enter and then down here you can see it's triggered the UAC so yes now this is an elevated command prompt sometimes when you're running programs in the command prompt it won't allow you to uh, do things because it triggers the UAC so this is a way to authorize command prompt to run things that trigger the UAC or else you wouldn't be able to possibly release and renew your IP address or modify users or things like that so there's also uh, another way of doing it by clicking start CMD and just right click and run as administrator and uh, the final way is to modify the program itself if you can find it putty's one that I, I do a lot so let me go to its uh, right click on it and go to its properties and uh, of course I can run in compatibility mode for Windows Service Pack 3 but I could also run as administrator for uh, myself I can change settings for all users so run this program as administrator for all users and then OK and OK so now when I open this program up it'll trigger the UAC every time and like I say sometimes it's important to uh, to trigger the UAC sometimes it's important to bypass the UAC you of course can turn the UAC off by going into users by changing user account control settings and they give you this little slider bar so you just say never notify actually I guess it won't let me do it in Vista it'll let you turn it off there we go so never notify okay yes and then it wants to reboot but uh, that's how you run items in Windows 7 as administrator or uh, Vista will do the same thing they're getting better about things not triggering triggering the UAC but sometimes it's still necessary so thank you for watching